All right, so um, for those of you who might have been here five minutes before the show started, this is the song I was writing. <laughs> so it is now uh, it is now time to hear that song and see if uh, I remember that song, because <laughs> it's fun. Uh, in, case, uh, in case I have not made it clear, all of this was done on a very, very short time frame. Uh, most of the songs that are originals that you don't recognize or that aren't blatantly ripped from another uh, singer-songwriter uh, have been assembled for this show within the last, I, I want to say, even 12 hours. Yeah. Uh, not even not even any time at all. What are you doing? It's irresponsible, I said. <laughs> um, but I, got, I, uh, I was so, so blown away by, by the attendance, and I'm again, it's happening again. This is the, this is the act two reprise of my blown awayness. Um, uh, I, I can't, I am getting feelings, <laughs> I'm getting lots of feelings. Also, by the way, I've been very primed to have a lot of feelings today, because I watched Jim Boja, the both, <laughs> Juliana, Juliana Finch. Yeah, and, uh, did anyone else see her concert? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, it's not the head. You're like a mushroom cloud upon the heart. Um, that should be your next album title, by the way. <laughs> or maybe a bomb of the heart. It's a little, it's a little fat. It's a little. I know it's gonna be hashtag all the feels. <laughs> hashtag all the feels. <laughs> Which was true. It was true. There was something about her twangy southern voice in the chorus she was using. She was singing about happy things, and I was like, hey, I just don't know. Um, I had a lot of feelings. To fresh off of that, that I was gonna, I was gonna write a song about cats are white people, but that didn't happen. <laughs> that song is still pending, by the way. That is, that is locked and loaded in the back chamber. Um, I shouldn't say it's loaded. It's, it's the bullet is still being formed. Um, but uh, this, this is the song I chose to write instead. I chose to write instead. Good night, everyone! <laughs> I can't get out! There's no way out! Did someone get him another gin? <laughs> Somebody do not get me another gin to see what's happening already. Alright, here we are. Here we are. So this is a song, um, it is a feelings song. I'm gonna ask you to sing along at the end. Um, and I, uh, it's, it's a very, okay, so I, wait, I've, I've already overshot myself. So, the, um, uh, great. Um, so I have, a, I, have, I have a story to tell you about this. Um, so I told you before about how I did music all my entire life, and then was like, ha ha, no, hate that, awful. And I ran as far as I could in the other direction and had a, a, a time, and actually I found a great thing in that other space, which was amazing, and, and I like that. Um, and I encourage you, if you're feeling unhappy in the thing that people define you as, to allow yourself the grace to cast it off for a while. It's not forever. Take a sabbatical. That's what I called it. I called it an indeterminate sabbatical from the thing that I used to love. And I, it came back. It is coming back. And uh, and that is something that is real feels. Hashtag with the peace sign. Um, I need to stop hashtagging everything. It's, it's a barrier preventing me from actual feeling. Um, so this is, I want to tell you a story. So for my 20, I am 27 now for my last birthday. For the last birthday that I had, I went to Mysteryland, which is an EDM, electric dance music, concert that is held on the original Woodstock grounds. And it was pretty amazing. It was really fantastic. I am... I'm not even, like, the hugest fan of EDM, um, except that I fucking was that weekend. It was awesome. Uh, they had a huge castle uh, called the House of Cards, and it was, looked like a house of fucking cards. And... They just kept they kept the, the the music flowing all day, and it seemed to me to be like the, the the modern day version of Woodstock, right? People go upstate in New York and get in the woods and get really high and listen to music all weekend and meet people they don't know and have an experience that they can't quite articulate, and then they come back later and are judged harshly for it, um, which is fine, that's okay. Uh, but um, so I I had one, I had one of those experiences, and actually so up there along with the music and the artists and the multiple different stages and the, the bajillion people that I met who I immediately loved. Like, not just like, oh yeah, you're, you're cool. I was like, no, no, we're, we're, we're great. You and me are going to be good forever. Um, and there, there's, like, there's a little bit of mockingness that I'm saying to that, but it was true in the moment. There was this huge like community. 
similar to here. It's a, it's a thing where you meet a person and you're like, we, yes, we equals yes. You know, like that, that little equation just like makes sense in the little voice in the back of your brain and you're, you're really, really happy about it. Um, so that's, that was happening the whole time and there, was, uh, there were art installations around the, the grounds. And my favorite one was this, it looked like a, a, a radio aerial antenna that had kind of been chopped off about 25 feet and it sat on the ground and it was a tree. It was a metal tree. And on this tree there were branches, there were, there were like foil paper uh, leaves. And the, the whole point, as woodstock as it sounds, was to pluck a leaf, take a sharpie from the trunk, write a wish for a better world on the leaf, and reattach it to the tree. So it was a tree for a better world, and I, I, I hear some of you rolling your eyes, and that's okay. Uh, but you have to understand that for me it was something that I loved, and it grew at night, it glowed at night. <laughs> it glew at night, okay? <laughs> it, it, yes. it turned into a sticky adhesive at night. Um, <laughs> finger guns across the audience. All right, so uh, and and my, I, I was in I was in a space and I was in a mood and I was in a chemical state where I I I felt such. Thank you. I felt such that I could I could drop all the defenses and be cheesy, right? We say it's something in songwriting is called too on the nose. You're saying it too directly. You're communicating your feelings too effectively. You must mask it with a cliche, you must, or or a metaphor, or something else. And that is the way that we communicate. And we have it, it, it's our it's everything. It's not just songwriting. It's everything that we do. So this was one moment where I was like, I'm gonna just say the the simple thing, which was, I wish that everyone thought that they were enough. And okay. Felix time! Here we are! Here we are! We knew it would happen and it's coming in. We're, we're stretch, stretching up for the feelings. So this is this is my song, which is on the nose. It's communicating directly, and it is called Enough. And I will ask you to sing along at some point. I think you'll know when. <coughs>
heights when you're high, <coughs> big metal.